This is not a personal dream. It is a dream that has been shared by many of us. But it is a very strong dream, and it's a very strong hope that we have. And I hope that after I finish telling you a little bit more about our program and our activities and the why of this whole thing, that you too will share along with the rest of us this fervent hope that in America we can create after a long period of no activity in this field at all, that we can create in America a center of research, learning, and training in things Armenian. Certainly many of us have been concerned about the misconceptions that have been held by many people about the Armenians. Why are there such misconceptions? Well, we feel that this is due to the fact that there is no real comprehensive knowledge of Armenian history and culture and language, and especially of the contribution of the Armenians to world civilization and history by most people. Now, what is needed to solve this problem? Well, obviously we need books, all kinds of books, history books, monographs, popular writings, historical novels, biographies, we need translations, we need grammar books, we need dictionaries, we need also people who will do these things. We need scholars and researchers and professors and students and writers and leaders. And all of these things can come from and be conducted in only one kind of a place. And that's the center of research and learning associated with an American university. For well, only at an American university of high standing and caliber can you be sure that this kind of work can be done in a manner that it should be done. Because the importance of the knowledge and the history of the Armenians cannot be underestimated. It's not a question of nationalistic pride or anything else. Well, now, this being so, what are the facilities that we have to do something about this problem? To provide in the English language the histories, the monographs, the translations, the grammars, all of the things that are necessary to fill this void. And we look around the various universities where Armenian is taught or has been taught. You can look at Columbia, you can look at Clark, or Brown, or Wayne, or Princeton, or Harvard itself, or Cornell, or Pasadena, or University of Chicago, any one of these places where Armenian studies in one form or another have been conducted. And the one common denominator is that at no place is there a permanent program of Armenian studies. At no place is there a permanent professor in charge of any such program. At all places, it is a part-time proposition. At most places, the level of courses are nothing more than adult education courses. And at no place is there any consistent and permanent and high-level program of research going on. After having examined all of this, there was born the National Association for Armenian Studies and Research. We call it by short Nasser instead of N-A-A-S-R. Now this is what we are trying to do. We are trying to establish a chair of Armenian Studies. This job is not a job for the Boston Armenians alone. This, not a, this, this job is not a job which we can do by ourselves. This is not a project from which we will get all the benefits and nobody else will. I want to thank you very much for this opportunity and having a chance for telling you this story. Thank you very much.